being invited to group web addict on the new train. And Lucas has been on board. The train was designed with a top speed of 155 miles an hour, tilting on the bends for faster cornering. It's cost over £40 million to develop, but ran only twice when it went into service three years ago. It was plagued with technical problems, and passengers complained that the tilting spilled their drinks, caused an uncomfortable ride, even made them feel travel sick. Now modifications are being tested with a twice-weekly service between Glasgow and London. Passengers are asked to fill in a seven-page questionnaire covering every detail of the journey. It's more difficult to get you know, along the train than it is on the 125. I think it's very comfortable indeed. British Rail won't be building any more advanced passenger trains like this one. These test runs are now research for the next generation of high-speed trains due in the 1990s. Well, of course, the prototype is to find out uh, what, uh, the things that are wrong just as much as to find out the things that are right. And it's certainly not been a waste of money. I mean, we... Uh... Built in Derby, went back into passenger-carrying service today for the first time in 18 months. The advanced passenger train has become dogged by technical problems since its planned launch in 1981. Four million pounds has since been spent in a bid to rectify the faults. Today it's running between London and Glasgow at a top speed of 120 miles an hour instead of 168 it's capable of. British Rail's advanced passenger train is back on the rails, two and a half years after its first disastrous launch. And it made the run from Glasgow to London ahead of schedule. Mike Smart was on board. Originally launched in 1981 and built to break records, at that time it did little else than break down. The APT was withdrawn after one disastrous week in service, and for two and a half years, a highly embarrassed British Rail had been trying to sort out why the tilting mechanism made people feel sick and the train proved so unreliable. Today's re-inaugural run was only half full, and most of those aboard were rail enthusiasts. How are we doing? Uh, so far I've got up to about 117 miles an hour. And uh, I think the tilting part of it is pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to walk through the train though. Yeah, it's going into corners. You don't feel a bit queasy sitting here? No. Unfortunately, some passengers discovered at Motherwell that not all the problems have been ironed out. This one doesn't work? Yes, but this one's broken down. Later generations of APT will travel at 140 miles an hour and only the coaches will tilt, not the locomotives. That'll be at the turn of the decade, when British Rail hope to have about 50 complete trains, each costing about £2 million at today's prices, in service. In the short term, however, what was once the jewel in British Rail's crown will continue to serve as a humble backup train during busy periods. Passengers unfortunate enough to travel APT in 1981 said this morning's 802 from Glasgow was a great improvement, despite there being no British Rail breakfast. And it arrived 20 minutes early. Tonight's main point.